Hi folks, uh, I'm not going to do uh, anything like this this morning. I just, I've had this in my possession for years. I did it, it must be 20 years ago. It was based on an Edward Wesson watercolour. And I did it on oil on paper. I still like that one. I love that. I love his version of it. I might do something similar, but for my own, for my own head. Uh, yeah, it's stark. It's sort of on an English moor, something like that. Well, I've just done a video on YouTube uh, on how I cut mats, cut mounts. This was the one I did, a bevel mount. Very simple, with the simple tools and the Logan, well, the Logan mount cutter, it's American design, a absolutely fabulous uh, piece of equipment, not over expensive. And I've cut hundreds of these things. And I'll show you how to how I mark it out. Uh, and any any questions you have on it, you can always contact me. Uh, right, so a bit of Fabriano, 130 pounds. I'm going to do another rocky scene. I'm going to make it up. And first, I want to draw a sort of design of a rocky. So I get a horizon, and we'll have. Uh, we'll have some big sort of rocks. Water coming around here. It's all 3D type things, and we can have some uh, coming up here. And the, the, the uh, sort of a stream coming around here, disappearing over there. Fast flowing, we've put some another rock here. Coming down there. I try, don't want them symmetrical, the sides symmetrical. This is just a rough placing of, of the rocks so I'll, I'll use the car to scrape to scrape out but what I like uh, are these are these trees that you get sort of hanging to the rocks all very loose and on here we can put a fisherman so if I remember Something like this. So I, I won't block over it with the paint. Uh, and we'll have a bit of background, we'll have a bit of bit of wet in wet. Some more rocks here. Okay, that, that will do. Now here's my the, the colour. These are all of Cotsman student quality watercolours. Large one rounds from Hake. Give the paper a nice bit of wet. And now the paper, as we progress with the painting, we start at the top, work down, or wherever we can, wherever it's appropriate. But by the time you get to the bottom, the foreground is dried off quite a bit. So uh, remember that you can exploit that. Now, while that's nice and wet, we will put in a bit of bit of sienna, and then I might have to adjust the. Uh, the picture on this because this might just be a little bit too too bright and it's not showing up that's a sort of a, a, a raw sienna let's just um, just reduce the brightness a bit I'll, I'll put it in a little bit stronger I think Make sure your paints were well mixed. Yeah, it shows up a little bit. And put it all over because the sky colours are going to reflect it, be reflected in the water. Now we'll have, let's have a bit of bit of red behind that. I don't use a lot of alizarin. Not sure why. It's just, 
with the, this red, it just don't really need to. Now we'll put a bit of nice blue and red. And just do some clouds, just some light. Light clouds coming in over that sky, behind where the trees are going to go. And then a bit of dark over the top to give a bit of, bit of shadow. So blue, blue and red. Being right handed, of course, that's why I tend to load up one side. That's still a bit too bright, isn't it? Uh, so let's uh, take that down a bit. Uh, and it's quite very difficult. It's a very, oh, I tell you what, the sun's shining on it. So it's a lovely day, yeah. uh, but uh, the, sun, the sun is quite strong. Now that is not a good reproduction, so let's see if we can take colour down a bit, white balance down a bit, exposure. Oh. I hate to have to do this every time. I can't get a, a fine enough adjustment on the contrast. Bit on auto. Uh, right, well, that's, that's not too bad. That's quite a good reproduction, actually. That's on auto on the uh, light. Right now, the paper's expanded. I'm just going to reclip it. I think I should have saved up for a for a camera that recalls an MOD. M MP4 rather than buy this webcam. It's a lovely webcam, but it's adjusting. Uh, okay, well that's that's quite quite a nice sky. So with some blue blue colour, bluey greeny, we'll put in some background. I'll use a bit of alizarin for that. But make sure your brush is clean. So blue, bit of alizarin. Get a bit of distance, and we'll paint, bring that right down to to the horizon, and we can put in some other colours over that. I'll go my basic, my, my basics with this. Around that rock. Okay, now, so as that dries off, I can put some detail in that. I'll just do a little bit harder. Right, clean the brush. And I'll give it a dry. Let's, uh, so I've got to mute the sound. Right, I know some of you are using Fabriano 140 pounds paper. This is the studio paper. This is a cheaper version. This is 130 pounds, and it's uh, probably two thirds cellulose. Okay, so let's put some put some background into that now. Get those rocks down. So a bit of bit of umber, I think, bit of umber, and a bit of blue. Prefer a nice grey sort of colour, but a warm grey. Uh, let's, uh, let's 
a bit of ochre with that as well. I got some sienna in there. Vary the colours, a bit of burnt sienna and a bit of Payne's Grain burnt sienna. Now a lot of this take work is learning how to control the water in the brush. It holds a lot of a lot of water. So you have but that all comes with practice. You're not gonna make a, an artist in ten minutes. You have to put the time in. So I have to tell you that, but I've put years into this. But it's worthwhile, that's all I can say. It's a well worth um, exercise. If you want to learn to paint, don't give up when you can't do it. Because none of us, we don't start off as artists, that's where we try to end up. A bit of rock up there. Oh, let's get a bit of darker stuff in here. Pull out any loose hairs from the hake. All right, we'll get some nice rich greens now. So I'm going to scrape all the rocks out with the card. So I'll put them in dark, put the rocks in dark. So paint scrape, plenty of paint scrape, plenty of red in there. And Oh, I've not even paid any attention to the drawing. That's all going to be scraping out. I'm going to do some of the other side. Uh, a load of thick, thick, juicy paint. Plenty of burnt sienna, umber, blue. And now that is our base for the rocks. Put some more over it. Then we'll start the old scraping. So slightly bluer ones in the background. Right, card. Right. Look, paintbrush. Starters or starter. No. If Joe Menz is watching this, you'll have a go at me because I told you not to do too much of it, not to overdo it. Because <laughs> these, these are techniques and, and you can do too much of them. So let's. Scrape into that. Scrape some light. I can put in some darks later. Patterns in the rock on the top, don't do it on underneath like I have. I'll just scrape a bit out of that and creative scraping. dried a bit but anyway you get the idea I'm now going to put in some well, of course I did that put in some background to that just some 
darker blues, warmer blues, a bit of Payne's Grey mixed with the ultramarine. Still keeping the distance. Oh, I've gone over where my man's going to go. Never mind, you can go on that top lot. Too much water on there. I will paint into that with some warm greens. See that blue is toned right down with the paint's grey. But it gives another dimension to the perspective of that background. Right, well that's a bit wet, we can put a little bit of reflection in that water. Right, okay. So we've got to detail it up. Right, now we're, I'm going to use a smaller brush now. I'm going to put a bit of texture back in these rocks with some some uh, lines and some some green some rich green burnt sienna yellow paint's grey touch of water well, that's thick paint big lovely juicy coming over those rocks bush Slightly greeny. Okay. Not enough water in my brush. My, as you can see, my yellow is all loose and sloppy. <laughs> Just a bit of grass. Right, let's just put a bit of dark for just a bit of modeling there. Okay. That's probably a bit of a, a bit overdone. Uh, where should we go now? Right now. Let's put in. Oh, sorry. The undulations in the cliff, in the hills, cliffs. I'm touching over my head. I'm sorry about that. Right, now I'm going to put some heavy, heavy green. In here. Oh, I love doing this. I haven't done oil painting for over a week. This is some acrylic. So if you get into mount cutting, you're doing your own mounts. Don't throw the cutouts away. Use them to paint in acrylic or oil. They make lovely surfaces to paint on. And they cost you nothing other than the initial expense, right? That's uh, of the, of the card, and that's not expensive. I will have some here, just touching. It's dry brushing now, as you can see. Lift up it higher there. Touch it 
I'll get pleasant shape on them. Oh, I can just do more coming down here. That's a very dark green, silhouetted. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, bit of texture over here, so good bit of green. Paints grey and yellow is fine. Right, that'll do. I think my sky's come out quite well. Maybe I wish I could just brighten that up just a touch. Yeah. That's that's quite good. It's quite a dark picture. Got a bit bit mad with the uh, with the rocks, but. Uh, Got this great big rock here. Uh, right, well let's, I know. Let's put in a bit of that sky, a bit of those colours. Just blue in there. Shadow in there. Might put a rock on there. Between a rock and a hard place. Uh, right now, uh, my little fisherman. Now, where am I going to put him? Uh, I've obliterated it, haven't I? Uh, Maybe I could put in there. Right. I'm just going to put in a bit of detail in the background. So with the, the, the paints grey and the blue. Right. That's that. It's a bit wet. Well, that's okay. That'll just disappear into the... Uh, background. Type of your trees. A few coming up to the top here. Good job, that. Some in here. Just give the impression of a forest behind. Right, drying time. Uh, been a bit wild with that one, didn't I? A massive great boulder. I might put some gouache on that. Right, just, just reclip it. Okay, now man, I'm going to paint in dark. So paint's grey, it's good in silhouette. So we'll put him here.
lovely. A bit hard, but quite tricky that. Just hanging on to the edge there, just on the ledge. Right, uh, let's go my little bit half inch brush. Uh, let's see if I can just model some light gouache. With a bit of sienna. So I can do it. So can I. That's not too bad, is it? Mm. And the other side. Don't get the gouache mixed up with all your nice watercolours. Eh? Just have a spare bit and then clean it up, up afterwards. Otherwise, it will ruin all your paints, make them all opaque. Soaks in very quickly, so you have to compensate for that. Okay, I don't think I've made a good job of that. Right, a bit of dry brush. No, I've had the best I could do that. Right, we'll put it in a mount so that I didn't cut. But I could have done, but sometimes it's cheaper to buy the scissors and special up. Huh? Let's have this ivory mount. Clip. So it doesn't slide off. I think I've probably just overdone that a little bit, but uh, it's like he's got a great big vaulting pole in his hand. I wonder if I could carefully, carefully put a bit of gouache on it. Just very carefully, I'll probably ruin it. the light. Oh, well, there you go. Anyway, let's, say, let's pull, pull the camera up a little bit, make any adjustments to the to the camera. It's a little bit light, so I'll dark, shall I say.
Oh, well, that's not too bad. Okay, thanks for looking in, guys. I'll get these two videos uploaded to YouTube, and I'll see you soon. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.